And welcome back to another harrowing part of week 13, part 4. Welcome, everyone. Yeah. Krikaza, you recognize this man. Tell us your memory of him. I remember very vividly hearing him say something along the lines of wait. Time has a way of making things paraphrase. Um, and then out of nowhere, a shot rings out in the transport craft that we're fighting in and lands basically in between this guy's eyes. And I look over and Yurg is the one who's pulled the trigger. Oh, that's right, it was Yurg. And then I remember promptly going over to the body that I thought was dead, kicking it outside of the, the loading ramp to plummet to his... If you remember, actually, you didn't know if he was dead or not, which is why you... Basically, space oh, that's right, without yeah. the space part. Yeah, so kicked them off the ship, put the cargo ramp up, and called it a day. But apparently, my work's not done. Yeah, he is so mad that spittle is coming out of his mouth when he breathes. He's like, Horse <sighs> goes spittle. Hmm? Horse ghost spittle. It's dangerous. Don't get near it. Yeah, Edos is gonna look and be like, uh, I didn't bring this guy here, so uh must be your friend. Yep, and I don't have time for this, and I whip around the forty millimeter. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> range heavy, short range, one purple. How many rounds do you shoot? Because it's got linked, not a fire, and five rounds will do the trick. I don't think that's how it works. You know how the weapon types work, right? Oh shit! Uh, Doesn't he have to hit, and then he can auto activate mm -hmm. auto fire? He can spend advantage to basically shoot, like do twice as much damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I just need a hit first, and then we can... Yes. You gotta hit, and then if you get enough advantages, you can activate auto-fire, I believe. Let me look at it. it. Where? Okay, well, hold up. Where is the 40 mm You could spend a punt. It's not. Okay. A pawn, this is... This is... Remember how yeah. when you wanted to be, like, an explosives expert, I was like, oh, I'm gonna give you that's a cool shit. This is some of that cool shit. Awesome. So, I already have the stats that I designed for it. I just need you to make range heavy verse one... And uh, <laughs> if you succeed, for every two advantage you get, it hits him twice. Oh, I think you're going to love this. Uh-oh. I hope. Oh! 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 Uh-oh! 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 <laughs> Describe how you end him with one grenade. Ooh. I want to hear the description. Kaza just grumbles, I don't have time for this shit, and s whips around the 40 millimeter, pulls the trigger once, he goes, the grenade goes punk. <coughs> In slow motion, he just sees the grenade lob and impact his chest and immediately detonate, sending bits of gore and limbs everywhere. Yeah, I think the only thing left is a couple legs on the ground. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, I didn't show YouTube. Uh, there you go. He got three successes and a triumph. So, yeah, he's dead. How dead? <laughs> he knows How dead? Happens. Well, see this little boss battle that I have? Yeah, we won't be needing that anymore. <laughs> as this happens, Eos was, like, about to go for his blaster, but as he sees the explosion, he just kind of sits there and goes, Huh. <laughs> All right, uh, you really didn't need my help or anything, but, uh, you know, you would have slowed me down if I had it. Let's just go. It's my natural element, this. That's why I'm home. <laughs> so you guys that. start making the trek towards the tower. <laughs> um, with that triumph, can I have, a, like, a, a few minutes to think about that one? <laughs> that was the triumph. Although, okay. Taking okay, out enough. a nemesis in one hit. Yeah. Okay, no. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's keep going. <laughs> Poor James. He has Stuck on this one time. 
I think it's actually poetic justice. That was very cool. I don't recall us getting that many triumphs in a game. Shut up, you're ready to jinx it. It's, it's too late. <laughs> we just gotta keep going. I said nothing. So the screen wipes to show the main tower. And there's a hunter there clad in gold armor. And he sees the chaos ensuing. And, and there's a computer behind him that's one of those glass uh, war maps. And they're kind of looking at it. And you see resistances have occurred over the entire planet. And he sighs and turns to his men. You know those people who offered to help us before? I need you to send a communications to them. Sir, we can't find a way. Contact that Thrawn fellow. I need him now. And the screen wipes no. again. No. Toon Po and Valerie, you are in space. When you get a message. All clear for a small ship. To land? And then the text message is like, uh, yeah. If you've got, like, a dropship, a corvette, something, we can start evacuating people. Yeah, definitely. Let's, let's get started. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Alright, somebody wants to talk to you. Okay. Come now on. you're receiving a helm. Do you want me to get it, or do you? You answer it. You see the admiral. Come on over. <laughs> he's, he's in a bridge, and the lighting is really dark, and he's got people around, and he goes, "I may have a bold idea if you're willing to provide some air support." Uh, anything you say, admiral. We're ready, as best we can. Excellent. Uh, they buried our craft, used them as shelters, but also you kept them here. I have a theory. If we maybe max thrusters to the ship, we could probably lift them straight from the ground. I say give it a try. Problem is, is we'll be bringing some hunters with us. What do you think your odds are of dealing with them? It's not my call. Oh. You're the commanding officer in charge. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we have Edos' sister go down there and help them as they bring the ships up? Because if she, they've got, or, or we're going to use them to, or at least half of them, maybe they can help to try and kind of help. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That was what, that was his Valerie saying that to Ken. Really, Skype? You didn't do me like this? Sorry for those technical issues. Problem has been resolved, though. Group! Toon Poe and Valerie, you are in the middle of a discussion. What's the plan? What do you think? Do we think we should ask them if they would assist some of the, the people in dealing with the hunters, some of the, uh, the security patrol, or just let them evacuate those that they can? Can I transmit to... Does she have a name? I know I don't know it, but yes, can you we can transmit re to her? Yeah, you like can the, contact her ship. The comm frequencies for the people on the ground so they can communicate with them if, if they can't want. already. Um I would like to hail her again, unless we're still we're still talking maybe. Yeah, she's kind of like on hold. So, hey there. You said uh, 
you said you would be able to take those into the atmosphere and run some interference, maybe pick some people up. I didn't say anything about running interference per se. What are we talking here? The hunters are not somebody I want to mess with. I think that answers that question. I have a deal. I'm willing to strike with you. All right, what is it? I will help you to my fullest extent. I will even take all my ships and declare war on the hunters right now in exchange for one thing. Name it. I want Ito Star in my custody. Handcuffed, unarmed. That's kind of cute. All right. That might not be a thing that I may not. I may be able to hand over to you, but well, then you're not getting the help you need. Al- I can pass it along to the people who can't. You mean my brother? Yeah, he's he's down there. He's not here. Where? On the surface. We're shooting. Where hunters. is he? <sighs> Probably in some shithole or something. Do you know where he's <laughs> landed? Literally. I have, I have no idea. I kind of hmm. like just about crashed the ship onto the planet. I didn't see where anything went. I'm sorry. Is there any way you could track his location? Uh, stand by. <laughs> stand by. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to look at Valerie and see. You. I don't like the deal any, mon- any more than she might at the moment. But let me let me contact you guys and see if we'll see if he'll answer and, and tell him what what's going on. Maybe he'll turn himself over to him to help. I don't know. It's his sister. Just a thought. I don't like, know. I, I'd like to make sure she's on mute as well. I think that's mute. <laughs> or is that mute? She's muted also. He might die anyway. So this could save his life. I mean. I don't want to make a deal I can't uphold. I know. That's why we have to. Lady, that's but, why. Yeah. Well, she's security. They're all tough. But let's ask Eos and, and see what he would say. Uh, Not still right. sure if you're still there, but we could use your help, Destiny. Who is that? Just somebody from the ground. Oh. It was me. So I'm going to try and so talk Spin to her. Around. And I'm going to try and, and go, We're on it. Just that's all. Back on one up. of the other comms, I'm going to try and contact Eos. Okay, do it. Um, if I can figure it out. It appears comms on the planet has been cut off. <clears throat> now, if you'd like to spin a light side, I can make them function. <laughs> Valerie, can you can you use the sensors somehow here to figure out where all of the drop pods landed? Just any of them? I can try. I mean, telling her where 50 things landed is easier than saying, I don't know. I can give well, her a shot. Can I? Can I mean, I it, would only be, it would only be four, right? Because yep. all the others blew up. So the four have pings on them, basically? Well, no, I'm saying if all she's looking for is the drop pods, she would only have to look for four of them, not 50. Right, that's true. Pull up coordinates for the the ones that they went down on. Okay. What do I need to do to do that? Do I need to roll anything? Perception, just... three purple. Okay. Mm-hmm. Rikaz and his stupid triumph. <laughs> 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 ah. uh, I don't know what that means. It means you fail, but there's some advantages. Okay. All right. You can't see through the smoke and debris, but it appears that the location that you can predict is coming from an outhouse, like a big giant latrine pit. All right. It looks like he's there, so go ahead and tell her. All right. I unmute, come back onto her comm. I'm transmitting the closest I can get 
to where his pod landed. And Excellent. I don't know if he's still there. They might be all. They might have run all over the place. I don't know what the surface is like, but it's the best I can do. She smiles. That'll do. And your name is? Tunpo. It was nice doing business with you, Tunpo. Let's get your people out of there. Yes, please. And you see the Corvettes starting to turn on their heel and head towards the planet. Meanwhile, Krakazanidos. My fucking chair is broken now, worse than it ever was. It keeps sinking. I'm like... <laughs> you guys uh, are leaning up against the wall, and in front of you is the courtyard leading to the tower. There are three hunters patrolling it. Well, how should we do this? I say as I hold up the 40 millimeter. What advice well, would Corin give Edos? He, uh, as Corin puts his back against the wall, he kind of peeks out and sees it. And he comes back and looks at Gurkaza. You got two options. He can try to sneak past them, but if I know these guys as well as I think I do, they're really good at that. And try to fight, but it's two against three, and these guys are pretty potent, so it's up to you, but I think sneaking might be the best. You're probably right. Edos, you hear him say, you're probably right, and you didn't say anything. What the hell are you talking about? Our best bet's probably to sneak through. Edos is going to, like, take off his hat and kind of peek around the corner. See uh, how they're patrolling. One of them was... <laughs> <laughs> and then they all go... <laughs> Oh, human filth! And they all three look in your general direction. Human <laughs> filth. I'm gonna duck back and go. I don't think the snaking's gonna work. If you haven't noticed, I'm covered in shit. <laughs> Fuck. I cock the forty millimeter. All right, we're gonna do this the hard way. <laughs> How do you Sounds cock the forty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get the the charge. How you go? <laughs> So they hear this. Let's just say there's weapon. one charging handle, so I could just from behind the yeah, you know, you just gotta cock it, you know. Uh, so <laughs> you're leaning against this wall, and they're going, Ugh, and they start walking over, and then they hear the familiar noise of weapons, like weapons grade equipment snapping into place, and they just go, <laughs> and they're gone. And Eidos would know. No, yeah, knowing that, uh, I'm going to grab one of the grenades that I had from the ship and chunk it where they last were. Roll range light. Yep. The, the, it's going to be two purple, yep. but and also three, three setback because they're quick. Yeah. Range. Oh, and uh, upgrade. upgrade my side. Yeah. Upgrade your side. Ah, oh, you wuss. <laughs> and where's my range light? Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, so you throw it out, and it explodes, and one of the hunters goes sliding across the platform, totally dead. And I'm going to, with that, I'm going to, like, move across the open gateway. So they don't they don't see Grukazi yet, but well, then I know you they set think the they're... ammo box down. Oh fuck! Can he not fire it with the ammo box just on the ground? No, he can. He just can't move with it on the ground. That's his fine. bronze his bronze not the best, you know. That's fine, because they haven't seen him, so I'm running across. 
Yeah, uh, you run across. I need you to roll me um, an athletics, acrobatics, resilient, whatever you want. And yeah, I need you to roll do, against uh, one purple and two red. One purple, two red. All right. Post skill check. And you said uh, resilient or... Resilience, acrobatics, I don't care. Whatever you got. Yeah. You running. That's what you're rolling on. Okay, I'll do athletics. Okay. I right, don't succeed. <laughs> Two attacks are made at you, but they also get multi-attack. Two per. So four attacks are made on you. Awesome. Do you have any defense? Uh, yes, I have two defense. Shit. All right. Do you want to use any light side? Mm, no. Okay. I love you. I am. All right, so <clears throat> as you're running, you feel the first one go... And you kind of duck underneath it as this filament blade just goes whoop, above your head. Um, he's going to pass the two advantage onto his friend. Because he did not hit you, he does not get the secondary attack. His friend okay. swings. Hits me. Nails you. Gets secondary attack. So he does twice as much damage. What's your soak? Soak is five. You take a total of ten wounds. Holy Yikes. Fuck. But he's got to hit me again too, so. No, that he did. Oh, he did. It's kind of okay. like yeah, it's kind of like auto link. Bam. bam. Or auto fire. Yeah. So you go sprawling up. Your cloak is like, and you hit your ground or the ground, and you realize that they've sliced your neck and then cut open your uh, artery that controls your nervous system. Or the bundle of neuron nerves that do, and they and they uncloak, and they stand over you. Ah, bounty hunter! We thought we smelled your stink. Uh, that ain't just my stink. And I'm gonna kind of like back up a little bit as I'm like scooting out of my butt. Yeah, um, one of them steps like disappears and then appears behind you putting a boot to your back and pressing you on the ground chest first your face is now on the ground Worm goes pity I'll have to kill you this way and he whips out a glaive and starts swinging it closer and closer to your neck like a pendulum saying any no! last words and he hears a noise and he turns Grikaza go oh god you're gonna fucking blow fire your <laughs> Grenade launcher, machine gun. What difficulty? Range, range heavy. Difficulty two. They're not hard to hit. <laughs> Please let it be a success that doesn't hit me. <laughs> Ooh, with all the advantages, would you like to pop the blast feature? Um, or, you know. Do you want to kill them? I, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not right. That's not right. Yeah, he's gonna... I gotta click on the blank spot. There we go. Try it again. Just click roll. Oh. Oh, well, I've cleared mine. Just automatically. Let me, oh. let me try the roll again. Two Range purple. heavy, two purple. Two? Okay. One more time. So he... The glaive is coming down, and you hit him, Gurkaza, uh, and you do 20 points of damage. Um, his soak, he's, I forgot to have setbacks because of his defense. Oh, well, uh, his soak is six. So he takes 14 points of damage and that guy goes down <laughs> just a crumpled heap. You beanbagged him. It didn't even blow up. You just hit him like midriff and he folded like a lawn chair and went flying across the pavement, hitting a wall. The other guy is still invisible. Can I do a perception check to see if I can see anything shimmering? Against uh, four purple, yes. OK. 
Can I use the light side to downgrade your side? No. Yeah, you can. <laughs> mm -mm. And I'm going to use the light side to upgrade my side. Dark side. Or a dark side. I use your last light side to do that for my <laughs> own benefit. Like that? <laughs> <laughs> so one upgrade and one downgrade on your side? I yep. Leave it. So it basically cancels itself. It's no. Up. Oh, Turns that's right. one They're of different. my purple yeah. die into a red so that you can have gotcha. a despair. Fucking blow my brain so. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping for it, Eidos. I'm hoping for it. All right, you take three oh. strain. You take three strain, Grakaza. Okay. Update your character sheet now. It's updated. Grakaza, fire your weapon. Same type of roll, or same roll rather. Yeah, except it's supposed to get two black for his defense. So two black. Gotcha. Two purple. Range Fuck heavy. you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Chunks. Um, I'm going to say that the threat is uh, somebody on the balcony of the tower saw you and is running to start and to trigger an alarm. But they're out of your range. Oh, Edo's, uh, one of the hunters that was standing on you with the glaive goes flying into the wall, and before you could even react, the blue blood of the uh, other hunter sprays all over you. Okay, uh, I'm gonna kind of roll onto my back, and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm bleeding, I'm hurt, I don't feel good. Now, the one that's running, can I see Sepsis. him? Or is he too... Huh? You're gonna get sepsis. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Uh, Not they're dead. Either. They're all dead. He's killed all three of them. Yeah. I'm just kind of late. Oh, the one running time. is way up at the top of the tower. Uh, okay, so I can't do anything. I hate this. I should have never came here. I hate all of you. And I'm gonna start getting up and kind of Alright, could you roll me a nurse. coordination? Yeah. Versus three purple? Sounds good. <laughs> One, two, three. And coordination. Coordination, there you are. Oh, there we go. You stand up <laughs> where you were laying. There's fecal matter and shit all over the place. And your your shoes do this weird... Your boots go squeak, squeak, squeak. And you land in it. I'm just going to kind of like roll up quick wipe my face and just kind of start gagging <laughs> yeah, like it's not that you can't get up this is just showing how slow you're being you're trying to be in a hurry and you slipped so you can stand yeah. up if you're taking your time yeah I'll uh, slowly <laughs> get up but uh, Grakaz I can see I'm not doing too hot from that attack Shit, yeah I he's got little... blood pouring from a wound up oh. by his shoulder I set down the 40 millimeter. I run over to him. All right. Shh, you got messed up. Why did you run? So you could get those shots off. Now, what now, now. This is nice. Eidos, you recognize that voice. A mobster that you were trying to get in contact with. Yep. Kurkaza, don't do anything right now. I'm going to turn around. Hey! Hey, you man. Uh, you turn around to see he's got the 40 millimeter in his hand. And he's like, impressive piece of hardware. And his, like, henchmen are there, equipped with hunter weapons. How long it's been? Five, six years? Oh, I've kept count. It's been eight. Always off, just by a few. Yeah. A few years I could be spending with my family. Well, you know, you piss off the wrong people and they pay me to do things. Well, you piss off the wrong people and they're not paying me. And the screen wipes. Tumpo and Edos actually, or Tumpo and Valerie actually see ships forming up 
and traveling down onto the planet right around where your camp was. Preparing to evacuate people. Grakaz and Edos, at this point, you're about 15 minutes away from the battlefield on foot. Maybe half a mile out. Um, but not close enough for the Corvettes that are coming down to the system. The sky is orange, by the way, with that blimp blowing up and all this other stuff that's happened and the atmospheric changes from the Destiny Horizon mini jumping out of it. It's a pretty crazy scene. There's alarms going off, you hear bells, you hear air raid sirens. I mean, the entire place is a mess. People are dying. There's gunfights everywhere, screaming, the ambience of war. And this is where we are going to end our fourth part. But Eidos, since you won our tide changes, what does this mobster want from you? This mobster is a guy I put away for not legitimate reasons. He was a bad guy, but the higher-ups that kind of put me in this position made me drop some evidence on him and put him away. So right now, he doesn't want to kill me. He just wants the man that sent me to do that. He wants the information from that and probably to uh, dish out some punishment. Well, he's not going to touch you, that's for sure. Yeah. Next up, who else has one? I'm thinking. You think like those black cat clocks from the 90s? The ones that were like... <laughs> yes. Oh, the silence. Grakaza, you did amazing today. Thank you. Even though I you're hallucinating like you're crazy. Oh, what? <laughs> Damn it, Chrome. <laughs> I can never trust it. Alright, I'm back. God, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm waiting, guys. Don't make me pick. Alright, John, go. Your turn. Oh. <laughs> what does the mobster want from Eidos? Oh, not a general one. Um... Say that the mobster wants the same thing as his sister. Ooh, he wants to capture Eidos for the bounty. So they are now at odds. Okay. I like that. Like a rat race. Only Eidos is the price. <laughs> Krakaza. Ezel. It yeah. is now your turn. You look upset. Because I have no... I I'm, I mean, it's... I, thought process is a bit easier now that it's just... Oh, what does the mobster want? Bob Ross. Uh, Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob, Bob, Bob Ross. You know. Um, just wants to be friends now. <laughs> he wants... Oh, God, what does he want? He wants to use uh, Eidos as a way to get off the planet, period. If he can manage to use him as a bounty, great. But that's but he mainly wants to get back to his family. I like that. He might just even ask Eidos for help. Who knows? Brian, what does the monster right. want from Eidos? All right. So I'm kind of going to go back to one of the things that was suggesting when I had that triumph. The, the mobster uh, now has been able to get something to work that he's got on him that sends a message out to his own personal fleet to say, come and help. Ooh, so the his fleet comes in to attack their fleet. 
Yes. Which is Edos' sister. Interesting. We will have to see how that unfolds. But to my YouTube channel audience, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you all for watching. Um, this has been a great session of Destiny Horizon. I think it's uh, it's about to hit a climax. So oh. we'll see if we'll see if maybe in a few sessions I can TPK. <laughs> How's that sound, guys? What is yeah. that? All right. Total player kill. Oh, wiping out all the players. <laughs> all right. I mean. I wouldn't do that. I savor the taste of one victim at a time. Especially when their death is sad and tragic. We're far more interesting alive. <laughs> right. That's why That's I can't why let Corrin die. A character. Yeah. Yep. Square that. But thank you all for joining. If you haven't already, hit the like button as the likes do help our channel get found in the search engine. And if you want to subscribe to see more role-playing content... I do run two other games. I'm getting ready to run um, Stars Without Number this month. hey oh, When is it, Edos? And Next Sunday. Yes, yep. So keep your eyes open for the Stars Without Number videos that I'm going to be releasing. And actually, they'll probably be out before this video because that's how I am. But this is Yarla Goats. Thank you very much. Joining me today is Jonathan K, Azel, Ethan, and Brian. I love you all. Thanks for making this a memorable game. I feel like I should say that because we almost lost to Destiny Horizon today. And I might not get the chance when you die. Bye-bye! <laughs>